Today I'm going to talk about the bow and beam bearing and plot that on a chart. The chart I'll use is the Defense Mapping Agency Gulf of Honduras chart, chart number 28162. I wouldn't use this chart for navigation, it's, it's really incomplete. I did in another video compare this to the British Admiralty chart and the Belize Cruising Guide, um, the Belize Cruising Guide being the best, best chart for lack of a better term to use for this area. For purposes of this example, I've plotted a heading of 60 degrees true and established my location using GPS starting here. While preparing and reviewing the chart, I noticed along my way that Hunting Key has a light that I can use for reference. A bound beam bearing requires a 45 degree and a 90 degree bearing of the object in reference. My heading is 60 degrees, so for my 45 degree bearing, bow bearing, I need to figure out what that is relative to my heading. So I can subtract 45 from 60 and I see that I'll be looking for a 15 degree true bearing. As I'm making my way on my 60 degree true heading, I make note of the time when hunting key light is 15 degrees off my bow and the time is 0900. So I note that on the chart. I continue on my course of 60 degrees true and I want to note the time when hunting key light is 90 degrees off my beam. So for us, 90 degrees is 330 degrees true and the time is 0930, so I record that on the chart. I know my speed, which is 8 knots, and I know the time between bearings is half an hour because I took my first bearing of 15 degrees true at 0900 and I took my second bearing of 330 degrees true at 0930 so 30 minutes or half an hour so 8 knots half an hour that means I've traveled a distance of 4 nautical miles because speed times time equals distance I've set my dividers for 4 nautical miles and I can see that indeed that's four nautical miles. Also, I can see my distance off is four nautical miles. So I can fix my position for 0930. 